Hmm. Interesting method of structural reinforcement. Hmm. Doc wasn't just reinforcing the arms. He was turning them into weapons. Doc really does want to imagine a better version of man. Doc's the smartest man I know. And now he might be the most dangerous. Love the coffee at work. God bless that grant money. Ugh. How do you know we lost our grant money? Just taste the new coffee. Lots of late nights in this lab. Glad Doc keeps the snacks stocked up. We should get more of those little cheese squares, though. I wonder if I could 3D print a web shooter. I can't believe I've never tried that. What is this stuff, Doc? Looks like armored plating. Defense prototypes. Fascinating, really. Aim has requested a number of samples of my work. Who am I to deny them my genius? Ah, kidding, of course. Doc's really doubling down on defense contracts. Hopefully the neural prosthetic will work, so he doesn't have to sell his soul to keep the lights on. Defense contracts. He was designing gear for my greatest enemies this entire time. Probably thought it was funny with me making Spider-Man's gear just next door. Doc loves these things. Used them in grad school when he had to manipulate radioactive isotopes. Says seeing them keeps him humble. I think we've got samples of every type of prosthetic in existence. We really need to get better about organizing our workspace. Where did you get all this equipment? Called in every last favor. Took out a few loans. It's like we're starting over once again. But this time's going to be different. Advanced idea mechanics. Doc, are you sure it's a good idea to accept grants from AIM? Their rep is pretty shady. Beggars can't be choosers, Peter. Once we're on our feet, we'll reevaluate our funding partners. So many good memories of working here. All tainted now. Really glad Doc let me store things here after the whole eviction thing. Oh, Peter! I noticed you keep track of Spider-Man's foes. Smart. Easier to craft countermeasures that way. Last time I fought Scorpion, he asked if I knew what my skull looked like from the inside, then offered to show me. Super fun guy. <laughs> Electro was the first legit super-powered villain I fought. Till then it had been regular guys in fancy suits. Electro was a big change. Big change. Gonna miss that humorless grimace. Mob Enforcer turned walking tank. Rhino's racked up enough property damage to destroy Manhattan three times over. Vulture might be the smartest guy up on this wall. Not smart enough to duck three consecutive life sentences, of course, but still pretty brainy. Ooh, you are in bad shape, little guy. Good as new.
You've been busy. Just getting started. You know, until now, we've been looking at press banks from the wrong perspective. Why restore people to what they were when we can make them better? It's amazing how quickly the prosthesis has evolved. I remember when our prototype used parts I ripped out of an old microwave. Doc's working on some kind of advanced hypodermic delivery system. Maybe to help with implant rejection? I don't know, that's a big needle. The neural interface is exacerbating Doc's rage. He may not be able to come back from this. Is this the raft? Are you doing work for the Supermax prison? Indeed. They're soliciting bids to modernize their security grid. Figured I'd try my hand. Lucrative contract, and a satisfyingly difficult nut to crack. He was planning this right under my nose. Was it just an idea in his head until the... Interface pushed him over the edge? How long was he using the device before I realized? What is this, Doc? Never seen this type of material. Would you believe it's for welding? It provides remarkable magnetic insulation and limits cross-contamination between the neural interface and arms. 